so it looks like I decided to hit the front with another coat of clear coat. And you could do that, like I said, as long as your window is not open too long, right? The overspray won't affect the adjacent panel. So I just hit the front. You can see that I'm not going to be doing the doors. All right, I just hit the front and wanted to make the front extra, and I just kind of blended it on this corner here. All right, if you wait too long and you do this, your overspray is just going to get on the door and it's going to dry cloudy. It won't flow out. <clears throat> and again, I say I say that the window is less than 10 minutes. Okay. You can kind of see I'm just hitting the door as well. Just I'm just, you know, glossing what I can. You know, double checking everything, giving this cap another hit. Um, and I'm pretty much done. You know, the clear coat, the, the tailgates are done, two coats. The main cab was done, two coats. I'm just kind of going over everything, not everything, but certain pieces with extra clear coat uh, before I call it quits and, uh, you know, clean up the gun. So uh, I'm hitting the mirrors one last shot. I think this is like three coats on the mirrors then that I did. And you could do this, you know, it's, you could just lay as much clear as you want on it. Just make sure that, uh, y you know, you get it glossy. You don't want to have any dry spots. Okay, so pretty much it. I'm just looking everything over quick, making sure it's all good. And um, I'm done. This is it, guys. Do that window just like what I did earlier. Yep. Just don't touch the white paint, you know it's wet. Yeah. Come on, do that one. You could do yep. Yep. Yep, it's all gonna be covered. No, it's okay. That's, that gets covered. And like I always say, super, super important to start peeling your paper off of your painted project about an hour after you paint. Um, a, a more certain time frame would be when it's tack free, right? When you could actually lay your finger on the paint lightly, like touch it like a feather and it not stick to you. So you would basically test that by touching the masking paper. Right, once it's lint free, dust free, tack free, I like to call it tack free, then go ahead and pull off your paper. This because the paint is still gonna be a little wet, right? And if you have any paint on uh, not paint, masking paper on moldings or around glass, around anything, it'll be forgiving and it won't peel off in like a little sheet, right? It'll be able you'll be able to basically peel it off. So that's the right way to do it. So I just took the front bumper cover um, in the sun. I just had to see it. Uh, but this is literally 45 minutes to an hour after painting. Okay. Um, pulling the masking paper off. So it's, it's a fun time. This is like one of my favorite times um, after painting is to just literally take, you know, take the masking paper. It's like a big Christmas present, like I always say. Um, it's a fulfilling time because all of the hard work is paying off you know you got your freshly painted vehicle it's looking awesome right now it's just putting it back together detailing it and um you know all of that so it's it's a uh, it's very fulfilling wait till, you probably already know if you've done your projects but if you're brand new and you haven't done projects yet you're gonna see that this is the most fulfilling part 
and you can see how I'm taking the tape off here. I'm pulling very slow and kind of toward the inside of the glass. Not, I'm not pulling straight. I'm pulling, you can see I'm pulling upward here a little bit uh, on an upward angle. It doesn't look like it from the camera view, <clears throat> but I am. You don't want to pull toward the paint. You want to pull toward the glass. And I'm going slow as well. All right. Again, if you're going to be doing a complete restoration, a different type of job, then you may want to be Going. pulling the glass, right? Pull the glass off and do Going. it <clears throat> correctly from bare go? bones. But ah. in this instance, I wasn't doing that. <clears throat> so you can see the paint has a little bit of texture, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> orange peel, but all factory paint jobs look like that. You look at any factory paint okay. job, it does have a... a, a uh, a texture to it and if you really want to get it flat then you color sand and buff it I mean all of that comes out and we're gonna be doing some color sanding and buffing on this truck as well on the whole front anyway um, to get it even flatter right and when I mean flat you're, you're taking off the little mountains off the top of the clear coat and just making it look like glass even more but I mean it glossed up really nice it, it came out awesome Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, this rain was cute. Hold on. Ah! So what do you think of the color? I like it. Looks great, yeah? Yeah. It looks good. The most good part is, um, I like it because it's like a white and teal. And it's a shiny teal, so I like it. Oh, there's a little teal up there. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Anyways. All right, so Maya, what are you going to be doing now? I'm going to be, but I wanted to punch that part real bad. Okay, you got to punch fast and right over here. Punch it fast so you go all the way through, okay? okay. Don't worry, there's nobody in back of it. Yeah. Oh! Rocky, look at Rocky. Did you see him? He's like, Whoa. he's like, what? Come on! Ah! He's like, what are you doing? Ah! He's like, oh, I'm going up. Okay. It's like easy, opening easy. a present. Here, pull like that. Pull. There you go. Ta da! I got it. Thing on. How do you think? Yep. How do you think this came out? Yeah, it looks good. I like how you did that. Like, it's like perfect. Oh, a little teal got in there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Here, so put this on your head. Like oh, Allie's over there. I forgot Al's over there. <laughs> okay. Hey, Al. Okay, why don't you push yeah. out a little bit and then. Okay, I'm gonna show Allie. Those are the ducks sleeping. They're sandy. Rocky, where are you, boy? Oh, there's Rocky boy. Hey, come here, boy. Oh, this is Rocky boy. He's a rare beagle. Kitty cat day. Look at her cute little pants. Right, Allie? Yeah, I got a little hair stuck there. Look, camera. That's the camera on my head. Yeah, so that's Allie. And I'm just going to push her a little higher. There we go. And let's see what Dad's doing. That's Papa. <laughs> cool. I like it. I want to put the uh, parts on, but I don't oh, want to yeah. touch it too much because it's still yeah, kinda... still yeah. If we wait a so one last tip here, something that I do, I always wipe my parts down with lacquer thinner before putting them back on the car. So these moldings here, uh, the weather stripping, all the black rubber, we wash it wipe it down with lacquer thinner, clean them up. You can see that it makes the towel uh, black. And it's very nice because it, once you put it on, it looks really done and detailed. So you never want to put old looking parts back on. Nuts and bolts I throw in the 
um, on the wire wheel, scuff, you know, clean them up really well. So, so this way, when I put the nuts and bolts back on, they look great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series so far. Hope you're loving the build. To learn more about DIY auto body and paint, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Get your free 85 page booklet, free seven day video training on step-by-step -step auto body so you can wow your friends and family, complete awesome paint jobs, and no, you do not need a 30 or $50,000 spray booth to get professional results like this. You just need step-by-step -step guidance and you need to become a VIP member. So check out Learn Auto Body VIP at the site. Hope you join us in the community, over 10,000 like-minded people like you and I. And, um, and that's that. So stay tuned for the next video in this series here. Lots to come. Thank you. Subscribe, share, like, comment below on the video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.